Okay, today's video is about safety uh, on the road, towing your boat, and I want to talk about the non-radial tires that most of the boaters and people pulling trailers in the roads are using. These non-radial tires that came with the trailer, even though this is a very nice trailer from Continental, they put the cheapest tires in the market. Non-radio tires are very dangerous. I call them suicide tires. Why suicide tires? Because they have no match lining on the tires. And if you go radio tires, that's what all the trailers should have to be safe on the road. Radio tires have match uh, lining and it's just like a regular car tire. It's not supposed to blow up just out of the blue. Now these ones, they're just like a balloon. You inflate them, and you're just waiting for, like I say, suicide. Waiting for one of those tires to blow up, destroy your fender, destroy your boat, and cause debris that you can cause an accident at the highway. And I'm going to show you what's the problem with these tires. All of them have a problem. All these tires that Continental put on the trailer. So it doesn't matter what brand you buy the trailer from. If they come with non-radio tires, I'll show you why it's so important to go with radio tires that I have here. First of all, if you look at non-radio tires, they're round. And if you look at radio tires, they're more like a car. That's why they're safer. <clears throat> I'm gonna jack up the boat so I can show you how bad these tires are. Okay, look at these tires. Look how uneven, and it's touching the floor. You can see touching the floor, and then it's not touching. It's a huge unevenness. Look how it's shaking right there. And all the tires are like that. I'll show you later the other ones. They're all like that. These tires only have like 2,000 miles maybe 3,000 miles on them and they all have this imperfection they're swelling up there are no good tires I'm gonna start taking one off see how the non radio tires are they're round just like a car they're square on top all right, before I install the other rim, I want to remove some of this little bit of uh, rust here to make the other rim touch all the surface that needs to be touching. This is normal on the salt water environment. And always inspect your brakes. Make sure they're not worn out. These ones are very good. And get some silicone spray. Put a lot of it. On the bolts this breaks anywhere you can put it protects from getting future rust 35 pounds okay let's try now the aluminum is a more precise rim because it's machine made okay so this one's 35 and this one is and this is 30 pounds aluminum rims so you will reduce at least 20 pounds of weight on your trailer it's not that much, but anything helps your fuel consumption. Definitely a lot lighter. And always have stainless steel bolts. Never use galvanized. Galvanized uh, with time, they will corrode. Stainless steel is the best. Now I am in the other side of the trailer and I'm going to show you how these tires are.
as you saw the non radio tires are terrible tires and usually those tires will come with a trailer when you buy it on the dealer or when you buy a trailer when you buy the trailer if you don't tell them to put radio tires they're going to put these cheap tires the non radio tires that most of the boaters and people pulling trailers on the roads are using to lower the price of the trailer and to set a very expensive boat on a cheap tires that is a dangerous thing to do um, those tires were terrible tires like I said I call them suicide tires this radio tires are gonna perform much better they're square on top the non radio are round so it's up to you if you want to have radio tires or non radio tires on your trailer but I do recommend the radio tires because they're just like a regular Oye, estoy filmando, capitán. Dime. Oh, no bueno, bye. So if you want to be safer on the highway, definitely get the radio tires. I place a link in the description below of the radio tires. You can get any tires that says radio. You don't have to get the ones I got. But I do place the link in the description below if you want to check them out. These are very good tires. And I do always recommend to go aluminum rims because they're lighter and they're machine made machine made means that they're very precise the metal ones are welded and they're never a hundred percent so now I'm safer on the highway uh, not just being safe on the waters is important also is safe on the highway all right if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and navigate safe